Christian Louboutin or Pierre Hardy, two different universes, yet both of them precisely reflect the Parisian style. The first one celebrates sensuality, seduction and glamour. The second one shows more design, strong femininity and graphic lines. Bonjour, my name is Dmitry Samal. I'm an accessories designer and fashion journalist based in Paris. Subscribe to my channel and enjoy fashion moments with me. Again, Paris stunned with amazing runway shows and presentations, putting the city in the final stop of Fashion Month's tour across the globe. After New York, Milan and London, France had a lot to offer, such a sensual style and effortless elegance. Christian Louboutin held his Spring Summer 23 collection presentation at the top of the Eiffel Tower for a performance event. Hi. Do you know what NFTs are? Need to make a queue anyway. Trendy twin sisters launched by Gucci Defile. Wearing Louboutin heels, of course. Iron Lady, the most desirable place in Paris, and maybe even in the world. Let's enjoy this breathtaking view and make some stories for Instagram. Today I chose to wear this white frame inspired by City Streets map. What do you think? As soon as the guests were arriving at the first level of the tower, they were escorted into the private Gustave Eiffel room. <laughs> oh, such a luxury velvet red boudoir ambience. It reminds about Parisian cabaret like the Moulin Rouge. It is a shoe heaven. Shoes are a very exciting subject. I love them. And you will agree with me that shoes are never enough. It is a seduction, fetish, pleasure, investment, statue, and now it is an art. Nice pillow earrings. Instantly recognizable curved lines. These heels are not quite lightweight. Oh no, she told no champagne. Thanks. It's only 2 p.m. Well, I think any time is the best time to drink a champagne. What about you? Do you like champagne? Bag decorated entirely in crystals. Another solid collectible for next season. Inspired by bright light of Las Vegas nightlife, each rainbow-colored stone is meticulously hand-applied to create a dazzling finish. Fantastic! A troupe of dancers began to perform wearing naturally Louboutin's heels.
Et Pierre Hardy, il dessine toujours pour Hermès et les autres maisons okay. I would say a full opposite universe is Pierre Hardy's one. It is a collection of architectural, graphic and geometric shoes in splashes of colors. Et vous avez les Hilton, donc c'est euh, un petit peu d'un petit ferme avec euh, les tableaux. Et ici, vous avez, vous avez les, les, les Zenadou, mm -hmm. que vous avez en, en tricolore. Brand reflects a modern sensuality and strong femininity. Pierre Hardy has become somewhat an icon in the fashion world. Having spent nearly three decades with some of the world's most highly reputed fashion houses, such as Dior, Balenciaga and Hermès. The brand is celebrating the 23rd year of anniversary. That looks almost like a car. I like very much the color palette of this new collection. Personally, I have a few pairs of Pierre Hardy sneakers. They are extremely comfortable and so Parisian. The Kyoto, mm -hmm. donc avec euh, le modèle Fab, donc avec une, euh, une semelle plus épaisse, et pour l'homme avec une semelle euh, plus forte. Contemporary forms of dance and arts inspired Pierre Hardy while creating his collection. Perfect proportions, right radius of circles. Bravo, Pierre, and thank you for the invitation. The same evening, I was invited for the launching of a new brand of champagne, Fleur Antique Champagne, near L'Art de Triomphe. There was also displayed a few pieces of haute couture Pellegrino's Italian bags. I had a lot of fun and few glasses of those delicious champagne. Let me know in your comments which brand of shoes do you prefer, Christian Louboutin or Pierre Hardy? And I see you very soon with a new fashion moments. Au revoir!